Leaders hey. from Busia County had gathered at Mujuru Primary School at Matai's constituency to pay their last respects to the late Martin Kunguru, husband to Bukayo West MCA Florence Kunguru. But this somber mood soon turned political as a section of leaders from the county hit out at Governor Sospita Ojamong over corruption allegations. A recent Senate report having named Ojamong among governors who have violated the law by breaching financial and procurement laws. All the way from the county assembly reports, Mutu Aizi Kusema at the Senate imekua influenced by anybody. What about the county assembly imekua influenced na nani? The same report county assembly imetoa, ndiyo Senate imetoa. Kwamba wewe haujafanyia watu wabusia haki. Matters of oversight are very serious issues. And many times I've been asked here in Busia, what are you doing? What have you done? Things move slowly but surely. But on his part, Busia Governor Ojamong rubbished the claims, saying he has nothing to hide. Mukiwa ukule Nairobi, badada kuja kulima governor hapa na watu yake. Mukuja mutuambie, mumeleta kitugani ukule Nairobi, mumeleta ya sisi watu ya Busia. Vile serikali inalipa watu kuhizi, pesa yote inalipa kupita kwa Central Bank, inatumia IFMIS, ato kitaka kununua kalamu, lazima ipitie sujima office huko kwa governor wapi huko kule Nairobi. Kwa hivyo ni maneni ya upuzi, na tunasema Senate, nyenye mulichagulua kuja kutetea sisi kama counties. Lakini kama mnaenda kuweka ripoti, atimutu ametoa 350 million, using which way? Busia Senator Amos Wako denied claims that he was using the Senate to politicize the matter and instead challenged the governor to table his documents before the Senate. And therefore I would advise the county government to cooperate fully with the committee when they are called there and supply the necessary documentation. The defiant governor claims his works in the county have been given a clean bill of health. We, we don't yes. fear going to the DPP for investigations, but when things are very clear, why do we bring to complications? The governor further termed the move as a witch hunt and accused those fighting him of being interested only in his seat. <laughs> Similar sentiments shared by Kiambu governor William Kabogo, who alleged that the Senate was not honest in the pursuit of alleged improprieties at the county. Denis Otieno, Citizen, live at one.